Between 1963 and 1965, though, you worked as an assistant to Henry Moore. Can you tell me how that came about and, and what it did entail? And also, how did you reconcile Moore's biomorphic sculpture with your own interest in abstraction? Um, one was my circumstances. Um, and, you know, I did have some part-time teaching after I graduated. Um, but it was, you know, and I'd, as a student, I'd worked in kitchens and God knows what else in London to keep alive. And, um, and, and uh, working for Henry Moore, I was in the world of sculpture. And I was earning my living one way or another through sculpture. And that was profoundly exciting to me. Um, the, I'd already start, if I had an exhibition now, with the works that I'd done before I went to Henry Moore, they wouldn't look out of place. So I was confident about where I was going, but I was enormously privileged and happy to be working on his sculptures, you know, because it was in the world of sculpture. Uh, and, and the process of getting there was, is, is reasonably extraordinary. You've got to be recommended you've got to have references, you've got to send your life drawings, and normally, it, and then you go for an interview, and normally there's a sort of three month waiting period, you know, I think to make you feel privileged or something. And um, uh, I was hired on the spot. I went there respectfully in a suit, and I had to, I had to roll my suit <laughs> <laughs> like an Englishman going to the beach um, <laughs> and work that afternoon. Um, so, uh, and I think that had a lot to do with previous Australians that had worked for Henry. They all worked hard, they were all terrific guys, they all took responsibility for what they did and, um, and they were different from the English assistants. So I think it had a lot to do with the previous people that had Australians that had worked for Henry.